Today, I am gonna teach you how to throw a playing card like this. Cut celery in half. Stick cards into apples. Increase your precision and accuracy. Grab your deck of cards and let's start throwing. All you have to do is grab a deck of cards and um, start throwing. The first thing you're gonna do is you are going to take a playing card, you're gonna make scissors with your throwing hand. Once you do this, you are going to cut the top of the card off like this. You're gonna place your thumb on top. These two fingers, your pinky and your ring finger, they're gonna be bent like this. So right now you are currently in this position. All you do from here is you bend your wrist down and flick your wrist forward, letting go of the card right at the last second. If you're gonna work on your accuracy, you're gonna point your fingers at the target you're aiming for. So it's pretty easy, you can hit that lens, just like that, by flicking your fingers toward it. Now the record is 139 playing cards into a 10 inch target from six feet away. So after you understand that you have to hold the card with the two fingers like this, Place your thumb and your fingers below. Basically, you are putting pressure from your thumb onto this pointer finger, so there's actually a little bit of tension between the card and your fingers. When you open your hand at that last second, when you're pointing your fingers at the target, that's where the card's going to go. For example, if I were to hit the camera just two times in a row, one, two, that is the only method you need to actually have to break my world record, which is 139 playing cards into a 10 inch circumference. And there's unlimited amount of time. You just, ha you cannot miss. And I'd like to see some of you guys do that too, because later on this year, I think it'd be pretty cool to have another card throwing competition where you guys submit your videos to me so we can find out who that next best card thrower is. There's been some incredible talent in India. There's been some incredible talent here in the US and I can't wait to see what you you guys have in store. So back in 2002, I broke the Guinness Book World Record for throwing a playing card the farthest. 216 feet, four inches, 65 meters, 72 yards. It was insane. I mean, I've seen a lot of good card throwers out there, but I've not seen anyone with the type of power that I have. So what some of you may not know is I was an NCAA pitcher back in the day. The true history of card throwing in me is we used to roll up socks in the locker room. I got hit with the sock one day and I didn't have a sock to throw in return. So I grabbed my deck of cards, threw the card, gave the kid the worst paper cut of his life. So I recommend you do not throw playing cards at people. They will cut your skin. So be very careful. Wear safety glasses if you're throwing at your friends or if you're hitting pretty cool like targets. So if you wanna grab one of my card throwing targets, they are available on my YouTube shop. They're pretty cool because they are made out of styrofoam. And when you use my method of throwing cards, the cards will stick into this target. And if you do this correctly, you should be able to take three cards and hit that little white circle. One, two, and three. Now that you've mastered precision and accuracy, let's work on our power. Now it's time to work on our power. So what am I doing different there? I am using the art of baseball. <laughs> I mean, I was a baseball player. So I'm using my entire body. I'm using twists of the hips. I'm using my arm, pulling it in, and I'm flicking as hard as I possibly can. If you do all of these motions at the same time, you will be able to throw playing cards like this. There it is. That's got it. Oh, That's yeah. That's a record! Oh, Thanks. So the art of throwing cards isn't going to be easy. It uh, takes a lot of finesse. You're going to have trouble. You're going to let go of the card and the card's just going to flutter. So the main thing that you really need to do is you need to have this grip right here. As soon as you have the grip right here in between your fingers and you know when to let go of that card, you're going to get a velocity. You're going to get rotations with the playing card. The more rotations you get, the farther the card's going to actually go. When I was on a TV show called Time Warp, I had 186 revolutions in one second. They clocked the card at over 90 miles per hour. I was slicing through hot dogs, bananas, cucumbers, carrots, even watermelon. It was insane. You're really gonna have to work on your power. You're gonna really have to work on your release. Don't give up. If you really wanna practice, take cards one at a time and just nicely. If you can get the card to spin, you're doing something right. Then you bring your arm in. 
Then bring your legs in and put all of it together and you're going to master that unbelievable long distance card throw. Like I told you earlier, my world record for throwing a card is 216 feet four inches and I have not seen anyone come near that in the 21 years that I've held this world record. So hopefully some of you young card throwers out there will start practicing and submit your videos to me so I can see where my record stands. So in the past, I've taught you guys different variations of how to throw playing cards. They are on the channel, you can go and watch them. I do have a two hour course that's gonna teach you all the mechanics, all the grips, how I use this in a show, how you can attract large crowds. It's called Velocity. And if you guys would like to get Velocity, it's on my YouTube shop. It's going to be two hours full of instructional videos, uh, different grips, there's different mechanics, there's RSJ grip, there's the Ricky J grip, there's the Herman grip, the Thurston grip, all of these different ideas of card throwing through the history of card throwing are all in this DVD. So if you guys wanna learn a little bit more than I can teach in a 10 minute or under video, make sure you guys grab Velocity, it's pretty cool. The last thing that you guys are gonna learn right now is precision. A lot of guys out there, you're gonna see Matt, you're gonna see Jay, uh, you're going to see a bunch of other guys taking cards and landing them in paper clips, clothes pins, key rings, uh, I've done a couple. I've done some with Rob, I've done some with Matt, but if you wanna learn how to be precise with the card throwing, it's not the same grip that I've been showing you guys this whole time. There's no need for power. This one is gonna be more like your boomerang card where you hold your finger on the, the edge of the card, throw it lightly, and have that card come back. I know we're not teaching you the boomerang today, but basically, that's how precision is going to work. You are going to get as much spin as you possibly can by putting your finger on this corner. Bending your wrist, flicking, and having that spin. The more spins, the more accurate you're gonna be. So if you wanted to land that card right in front of the lens, I'm gonna throw it lightly, and it's gonna go right there in front of the lens. Now that's where I would maybe put the close pin, because I'm not hitting the lens, I'm putting it right there in front of it. Same spot every single time, and that is gonna be how you're gonna work on your precision. It's a little bit different style of the card throwing that you may be used to. It's not used for cutting vegetables in half. It's not used for knocking down targets. It's a really good utility if you want to amaze your friends, have them set up a clothes pin, throw it across the room, and have that card land in there. Yes, it is gonna take you a few more throws than your power throws and slicing vegetables, but it's a really cool party trick, and I encourage you all to go out there and learn how to do this. So you could use standard bicycle playing cards. These are the cards that I've been using for years. To be honest, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now that's going to be released on November 5th at Cardtopia in New York City. I am actually doing a collaboration deck with Bicycle. It's going to be the most unique card throwing deck you have ever seen. You're gonna be able to see it in real life at Cardtopia in New York City. So if you guys wanna grab tickets, Make sure you guys go follow Cartopia on Instagram. All the details are on their page. If you are looking for some fancy card throwing cards, we created the Falcon series. These cards are a little bit thicker. They're not made out of plastic. So there's a really cool design. There's a really cool Falcon feather on the back. And when you're throwing that card in slow motion, it actually looks like a blade is going through the air. In the Falcon series, you will see that we have gold, silver, gun metal. We have aqua and we have the new Ice Falcons. Now, every one of these Falcon Series decks has a magic trick built inside of it. There are two Jokers in every deck, but the Silver Falcon Edition. That one has a double backer. So if you are a magician and you have the gold deck, the double backer comes in handy. One last deck that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Banshees and Banshees Advanced. The Banshees are a whistle card. These cards scream when you throw them through the air. They also have a measuring system so when you're throwing them with the card throwing target, you can actually see how far the card goes into the target and you can measure your power. So if you wanna grab any of these cards, the target, the t-shirts, whatever it may be, ask your mom or dad to buy them for you. I mean, if they say no, they don't love you. I'm kidding, the holidays are right around the corner, ask your grandparents, they always say yes. All kidding aside, all of the merchandise does help me create more videos and more tutorials and more interactions. So make sure you guys check that out. I hope you guys had fun with today's video. I hope you guys start throwing some playing cards. Again, my name is Rick Smith Jr. Thank you for making it this far. If you want any card throwing merch, click the button to the side. If you wanna watch last week's video, click that button. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys had fun. See you later.